I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm a firm believer that some questions were never really meant to be answered. But hmm. we're here anyway with representatives from Campo Santo who have brought Firewatch, uh, which was produced in conjunction with Panic. Yes. Uh, now, which one of you is Cable? <laughs> We have Jake Brockton and Chris Remo here. Uh, Brad Shoemaker is here as well. Right. Hey. Um, no, seriously, those fake Atari 2600 boxes they did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those amazing. were amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, I have yeah, a full set sure. of those. They're, they're really great. Nice. I like that their Usenet download client it has just sort of a sad guy with a box of tissues next to his computer. Yeah. Really, they've really made some creative choices. It's, it's really, there's an accuracy there that, yeah. that hits hard. Let's talk about hard hitting accuracy. Okay. Let's talk about Firewatch. Okay. Um, what is that? Fuck. Um, My understanding is that it's done. You're out of time. You, it is. Yeah. So Firewatch is complete. Yeah. Okay. I feel like you, if okay. anyone's going to have a firm handle, I mean, I think we need nouns, not adjectives. Yeah, but okay. okay. No. I couldn't get Greg Miller in here. I know he finished the game. He did. Uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't get him in here to ask him. Well, you, so. you also you also chose to not answer this question for yourself, as I know you're on the press list for this game. Uh, I, we did receive codes yesterday, and I can tell you that I downloaded it. <laughs> We and were, ran it, yep. and then looked at the trophies, and that's it. Okay. We looked at the menus. Uh, we looked at the it's menus. Very, I, I, I called over to Brad and said, "These are nice looking menus." Yeah, he's, he's not wrong. Is it's that what Ali Moss did? It's Made a sure that like, there was like good looking text as an as an illustrator, as an artiste. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know how much real information you know, but that that menu screen was actually one of the first things that we made on this game. It was like the, the second piece so, of art that all these. So do you look at that and go, "This is fucking trash"? Like <laughs> the rest of the game, you're like, "Yeah, this is where like like now is the we title usually, screen." We usually start with like some inspiration for a title screen, and then make the title screen, and that kind of guides us through. You know, you kind of let it start come at the beginning, to you. right? Yeah. Like you build the title screen, that's the first thing you see, and you're Absolutely. like, "Absolutely." Well, what kind of people would inhabit a world in which this is the title screen? And like, what kind of settings would kind of, of, should a game have? <laughs> yeah, what, that's a good call. Yeah, yep. First of all, like, what kind of anisotropic filtering do you think defines Firewatch? Actually, I don't think we have an anisotropic filtering uh, where do you, slider wow. in the game. Fuck. Where do you, where and you, then you, once you build that, you're like, well, this must be a PC game, at least, for one thing. Yeah. If that's an option. We're set to Ultra here. Right. We're under yeah. the PC version of Firewatch. That's this true. is Ultra Firewatch. True. How, do you, yeah. how do you make the call between press start to begin or press any button to begin? Uh, well, uh, you know, on, on like, PC, there is not one. Exactly. And okay. on consoles, they make you put one sometimes, oh, right. depending on mm -hmm. the year and Those the consoles system. don't even have start no. buttons anymore. So. No, press no. X. But then the thing says press X, but you can press any button mm. on most yeah. video games. So this is the it's, sort it's, of truth that you get start on this video. Begin, you can probably infer, like, oh, this is going to be like a retro game. Yes. You know, so, so, so maybe you use like a pixel assumption. aesthetic. Stop, we have to stop. Okay, Firewatch is a. What if you put an insert coin thing on this? I mean,. You, you could. We we didn't try. We probably should have tried. There's, there's still time. Well, you got a few more days. The yeah. game is come, is yeah. done. It is done. It is a done game that is a first person exploration adventure game. It's like a it's a story driven game, very narrative heavy. It is the story of this guy Henry, who is your character. He takes a job in a Wyoming national forest to look for fires in one of these lookout towers that is on the screen. Uh, right now that we're about to walk walk to <laughs> as the game opens to start this guy's job and uh, He's kind of he's coming into this having had a um, Some trouble in his personal life looking to just get away forget everything for a few months uh, Out in this forest environment. I, I really I really like those tentative first few steps you took there yeah, I didn't like, know if really, I should start playing or like not like really getting into character. Yeah, no Jake's with... playing the role for sure <laughs> Now I don't I don't want to like I guess I don't necessarily want to just have you guys spoil the game But was sure. the personal trouble that he ran into is it that he loves to start fires? <laughs> uh, I he, he actually he loves to not watch them and this this is an attempt to sort of cure himself of that got it by, Okay, uh, no, I mean do you do you he fails. <laughs> yes, that's true. He spends a lot. Of, you spend a lot of time not watching fires and fires. But actually, I mean, we, we should say that this is this is past the. There's a, a, a. This is not the very beginning of the game. That's true. There no. is there is a bit yeah. before this. That, there's there's a there's yeah. This is the night before his first day on the job. But there's some stuff earlier in the game yeah. than what we're showing here. Wait. Okay. So the night before his first day on the job, he has snuck out to where he's going to work. No, he's been hiking. He's been <laughs> hiking out there. He's not sneaking. He's not okay. sneaking. I mean, I was walking slowly, but that wasn't. Yeah. Oh, but you say, but like he starts, he starts, his first day on the job is tomorrow. Yes. yes. What he the just fuck is here. he doing here? 
You see, you hike in. You gotta get there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is like he's he's reporting for duty. Yes. This is like yes. you know, hey, I start in the morning, but I'm gonna go out there right now. <laughs> like I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna get a heat on and drive out to where my new job I is. I miss it, Firewatch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Make sure my first day is hot. Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh, someone's talking to me, so I'll pick up this radio. So I now have my radio. The radio mm -hmm. is like the way it's, I don't know, it's the thing in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's your, the main, the almost entirely the way you communicate in this game is by way of this radio. And you s spend the whole game basically talking to your supervisor who we're going to meet in one second. And you can tell her about uh, things. You can ask her hello? questions. You'll see. Whatever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, so you, throughout the game, you can make choices about in dialogue, and the game remembers all the things you said, and sometimes those have an impact on future okay, conversations you're and you're probably things. out here because nobody back home can stand you, which, after this brief introduction, is not Oof. a big shock. Started off with <laughs> the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, like it works. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. I'll wait. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. That is a good like, place for a title. Uh, yes, I like. I like the aggressive cut. At any point, was oh, there wow. audio okay. there? Was there a? <laughs> <laughs> Day one. Uh, we talked about having a little guitar music or something in there, and there's just ominous wind instead. I can see you at your desk. I actually really like the hard cuts for you know to indicate passage of time and stuff. That that stuff's stylish. Thanks. Thanks, Brad. Thanks for calling. Do you ever get to find out what happened while things were black that caused you to put the radio back down? I mean, you can look around and see through the power of environmental storytelling that you unpacked. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> but what was here when you got here is a thing that I think that you'll probably enjoy, which is The Singular Mind oh. by Dr. Jonas Allard. Mm, wow, yes. Yeah, I, I would be interested to hear more about that. Yeah, well. Too bad you can't open <laughs> it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I gotta talk to Delilah. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? Never thought about pronouncing few that way. Whoops. Huh? Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. Throw stuff at the cast iron pan. It makes a nice sound. Okay. Yeah. There's collectible Ali Moss art in this game. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, so. Delilah was asking me to actually do my job, which is to look at the Firefinder. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by WB. Osborne. How many times would you estimate you've heard that line? Four billion trillion <laughs> fucking bajillion. I've seen both of you in this game on Steam for approximately the last eight months or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. Like around the clock. Yep. Your west facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I had to hold myself back from also saying Osborne. <laughs> Fireworks? Fireworks? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Uh. Well, so can, can you opt to just not answer at all, though? Yeah, yeah, of oh, course. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, that's fine. We'll just not. These are funny we'll responses, just though. Oh, that's true. Kick the sure. shit out of him, sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't. I'd really like to see the application process for this job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, so I beat him up or what? Are... <laughs> get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. 
There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Shut up. All right. All right. Um, so now I guess I'm just going to go to the cash box. There's a bunch of... You can go wander around, but... Uh, I'll hop over this log. Oh, yeah, and Firewatch, you're a complete human being all oh, the yeah, time. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, like emotionally. With a radio. <laughs> like emotionally, yes. You're a fully you're a fleshed out person with a radio. Okay, so this, this plays into my theory that all video <coughs> games are now one of two things. Uh -huh. Games in which you feel things... And games that are trying to be Gears of War or Call of Duty, but a MOBA. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm. And we're obviously the latter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much this. Just, I mean, like, look, I don't want to be a dick, but like, did you guys? How much Smite did you play before <laughs> making this? Because fuck. Jeez, I can't do this. There we go. We make you enter one, two, three, four in every lock that you find. Seems important. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, we developed that. We developed an entire input system for that. Just I was gonna say, like, was, <laughs> just for the gag. How many conversations were there about like we can't possibly make Actually, them enter to one, the credit two, three, four? Everyone on the team, you were just like, like, no, we're, yeah, this yeah. is the game we're making. It was, you would end, you will enter it. There was, yeah, okay. there, there, there was a lot of pushback to a lot of more standard stuff in this game, but it was like, what if Henry enters one, two, three, four, and it looks like the most elaborate lock entry interface we've ever seen in a game, where you see your hands animate all the tumblers in yeah. our gameplay programmer was like, that's I'm prototyping it now. <laughs> it was, and it was like the first thing in our game. Yeah, it was the, yeah. <laughs> um, that was the first thing I made sound for in the entire game. Yeah. Uh, well, let me go. Hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably gonna eat it. Where's that? I'm at the cash box. Oh, she didn't tell me not to eat it. Oh, because she didn't know where I was. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down. So wait, are you implying that if you did those things in different order and said you have the rope, then she would know where you were? Basically, then... the, the first thing that you tell her about in a new location, she you they sort of confirm where they are, and then after that, they have conversations about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there, there, yeah, she there are there. Times where she would have been like, oh, you're not going to want to eat that, uh, or whatever. You can still eat it, though. Yeah. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. We couldn't help noticing the uh, disclaimer on your Steam store page about this game being like full of adult situations for adults. <laughs> yeah. Or it's something to that effect. It's an adult game, if yeah. you know what I mean. We put that up because, you know, this game aesthetically doesn't try to look photo real. It try, you know, I mean, it, we, yeah. between. You're between this, this between Ollie Moss, we did a lot of our visual direction, and Jane Ang, who, you know, worked at Double Fine for a long time, we really wanted to. A stylized look. They like wanted a world that felt real and had, you know, a sense of place and like some, like you know, that felt natural. But at the same time, you got, you know, you're a, you're a, you're not Nathan Drake. You got, um, you got and got, and like, we got a lot of messages from parents saying, "Can I play this with my kid? I can't wait to go play this with my kid." It's like, oh, there's like a, there's, you, know, you just don't. I mean, our advice is basically play it first if you're going to play it. With sure. Your kid. Yeah. I mean, we've like already decided if your kid is cool enough for. Yeah. If your kid is yeah. cool enough for Firewatch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. All right. What do we call this? Time's running out. Right, the third one. Third. Third one. What about right. shitty That's the reaction I want to see the most. <laughs> Is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? That's uh, actually English for not in my job description. Also, our map's been updated, so here we go. It's there forever now. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. It's like Risk Legacy well, if you play that. Yeah. <laughs> now I have to pick that you one. You have to too. sign something at the beginning about <laughs> yeah. the wars you're about to start, yeah. the fires you're about to burn. No, no, no! Oh. Well. It's weird playing this game so quiet. And you just like said it wasn't eerie. Nathan Drake. He was on a rope, climbing on a wall. It's pretty much uncharted. Nathan Drake would have <laughs> shot 15 dudes on that rope. Yeah. Fair enough. Hey. <laughs> what the 
Then the entire, there would have been two the, flashback sequences. Yeah. <laughs> then the entire shell slide would have collapsed with you, and you would have like surfed down it and jumped onto a car. Fallen into an abandoned, strange burial site yeah. full of weird lizard men. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's Firewatch yeah. DLC that we're talking about. We don't really get to it. Be careful for Christ's sake. It's survival mode. Yeah. Why should I go over here for no reason? You so you know. Almost like there's more stuff in this game. Hmm. <laughs> I don't follow. Where are all the line so, puzzles? <laughs> so you're gonna need like ten wood and five stone, right? Yes. Before you can make mm -hmm. a lean to, and then yes. that lets you build the axe. You can break these beer cans down into aluminum resource. <laughs> Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I actually clean up all these beer cans. If you want, you can also throw them. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the man. <laughs> <laughs> Was that triggered by you throwing the can? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. <laughs> Oh, look. It's been a while since we made this part of the game. I forgot how much swearing there is in it. It's kind of ridiculous. Fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? So, I mean, could you go off script right now? Like, is there... Um, what, do you, uh, what happens I mean, if you don't stop out you that can't, fire? Like, you don't have make to stop. Your you own script, yeah. we, but, the only reason oh. we put stopping in the fire uh, is because playtesters were like, oh, I'm a forest ranger. Shouldn't I like be able to put sure, the campfire right. out? Yeah. Shouldn't I be able to clean yeah. up the beer that's no, everywhere? You can, you can, that's, you that's can ignore all this stuff. Yeah, you, sure. can, you can run through this game you and not it all anything, up, but you cannot touch well, it. Well, I meant more like, could you run off to the side and go find anything else? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, I think right here at this exact moment, there isn't Yeah, obviously there are going to be story choke points where you kind of have to move forward. Yeah, day one is a little more hemmed in than in some days. But, I mean, can you go into that little clearing over there? Is there anything the there right now or not? Yeah, I think so. Try to hide them. I'll keep this fireworks, well, though. Confiscate them. I was just trying to get a sense of, like, you know, how much space there is yeah. to roam the, around. The world, so, like, the I don't world know how also much, opens up over the course of yeah, the game. Yeah, I don't know how much we're playing today. I'm not actually, do you know, Jake? Like, are we playing into day two, or what are we doing? I'm not sure. Let's just, we can okay. just go until you guys. Because, like, day two, yeah. for instance, you can really start exploring a lot more of the map. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, here's, here's a thing that you can just find. Like, this isn't... So it's a early, you never have to come over here. You can just find this area. Should I radio right. about the raccoon? What, what was that? Like? I want to see what this lady has to say about a raccoon. Or, or about being called about a raccoon. <laughs> um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. <laughs> okay, good. I guess that's <laughs> what happens. All right. Oh, can you shoot the fireworks at the raccoon? No. I should have thrown the fireworks in the campfire. Oh, oh well. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it, things try for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there's a raccoon over there. There's, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, you know, right now you got that rope and it was sort of the beginning of game, shitty rope and it breaks, but over the course of the game you find things that allow you to explore further and further out into the world. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's Metroidvania. Like, there's a block trail that yeah. I can't clear right now. Um, oh, but wait a minute. Whoa. You find things that help you get further in the world, such as... <laughs> okay, yeah. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? No qualms about picking them up. He's grossed out. Well, you know. There's a, uh, ooh. Yes? Uh, nothing, forget it. If you say so. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. <laughs> Teens, they are drunk. Yep. Damn teens. What do you guys want? Nice? I don't know. What a, yeah, that's, that's, I, you know, we're maintain some professional you decorum. Take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea? What? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. I hate this. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just not Oh, they talk? left. Jesus, Please. they left immediately. Yeah. She's got a point. 
Alright, well, I don't think what I said sorry. Oh my god, is that what you are? Okay. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Where, where did you get the pop music from? Oh, it's a band. Um, 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 that's what Oh, sorry. I took their stereo. <laughs> Take care of that problem. Hey, okay, well, uh, I guess we're all even then. Yeah, I think so. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. So I guess I was. Um, the that that music came from a, a band, a duo in L.A. And they're a current band, but they do. They're called Cheap Talk, and they do music that like is intended to sound like it <coughs> sort of fell out of a time capsule mm, in the eighties. Okay. And they actually recorded onto cassette tapes and like played again and again and again. Oh wow! And, like to to, to Re redub to it, recreate it. Yeah, oh, nice. Really, they're, they're, they're great. So I guess so. I dealt with those teens by being sort of a passive aggressive slob and then stealing the radio, that's fine. Yeah, you let them like verbally abuse you and then <laughs> yeah, to, sort of to, to, to react. You said, well, I'm a ranger, so this radio this is radio mine. This radio is my name, I'm gonna yeah. throw in the river and leave. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about... I'm just gonna ignore what uh, you're saying. You're out here and stuff. <laughs> oh, I can see my tower from far away. <laughs> yeah, we experimented with hidden underground towers for a while, but we weren't really happy with the results. She drunk now? No. <laughs> so I'm with you all summer, huh? With whatever this sense of humor is? Can you even believe? You're gonna love it. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Little, like, notification system you've got on the right is yeah. kind of interesting. Yeah, that yeah, basically, sure like, a lot of there are a lot of things Especially not with your in the game that you can't, like, look directly at to report. They're just things that are happening. Oh. Mm. So in those cases, it kind of drops it there, spark, and you can either report them or not. Oh, so like, that's still, can, like, an actionable, like, uh, hey, you can pull up the radio now yes. kind of thing? That yeah. always means you can pull up the radio. Gotcha. So, like, gotcha. Oh man, sorry, I just shouldn't be interrupting this. Yeah, this we got a stupid and good. Oh, this this bullshit. Oh, I'm just gonna let her. Have oh, I, oh, uh, you you fumbled it. I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can you can report those or ignore them. Okay. There's a couple cases in the game where you have to report them because it's actual like this is literally the thing that makes the story go forward. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, that stuff, if you don't want to talk about it, you can just keep going and it's fine. Um, and then that in itself often sends a message to her, which is like he decided not to say anything, and then that is critical also. Ah. So yeah, like in in general, you can often choose to just not reply. You can let stuff time out, and sometimes she'll reply to your lack of reply because you're being rude or withholding or whatever. Mm. Can I go in the cave? Actually, yeah. Um, as you find those maps in the supply boxes, you can also copy the information down, which adds uh, roots and other information. But, and that'll, I mean, you say copy information down, is that just like you look at the map and it will add it automatically? Or yeah, you, yeah, there's like, like a drawing, you, like you use the pencil yeah. yourself? Or? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Like use the, the first map. time you okay, see a new yeah, map, yeah, you can press collect map. information and he, yeah. he okay. does a little animation yeah. and grabs stuff up there. Yeah. Should I go up here? Is this like an entry, an Odyssey thing or what? Odyssey, what's in the cave? You see what's in the cave? Just poke your head in there. I'll poke my head in the cave for you. Turn on the flashlight. And the rest of your body. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave, I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. I do the echo thing. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Hello! Huh. I bless the rains down in Africa! It looks like the path leads through the cave. Were there other song the lyrics cave, huh? there before you settled upon the right one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, I think, think that was pretty okay. much nailed first yeah. time. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. They never Once you know, you know. Hi. Uh, what do you want? This cave is gated off. 
is to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. All right, Chris. Although sure. Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Man, I never go this way. You never go this way at night? No. Wrong at the end of at the end of the first day? Yeah. Well, there's stuff out here. Was it hard to test? Was it hard to get a sense of like what people were gonna do and what reactions you need to have and which ones are, are Yeah. We for sure. We tried to think stuff through as much as we could, but a lot of especially in the early game when we were still feeling it out, uh, a lot of that stuff came out of watching people play and seeing what they tried to do, and if the game didn't already support it, we'd say like, "Well, put that in the game." Yeah. 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 Lines. They connect folks like me to Central Command. Got it. And if you can see them, that means you turn north of the cave and far, far away from Two Forks. You should head back. But it's cool over here. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once. I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I found an old notepad of, uh, <laughs> I guess, songs. Someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Old Shoshone, where the sky is blue and the teens are nude. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. Did adding reactions to the game, I mean, you, you probably had to keep voice actors in recording more lines as you added more reactions and stuff like that. Was that tricky with their uh, schedules? And we things? actually, we had yeah. a, it, it, was, it was a mix. I mean, they're both they're both working actors, but they yeah. um, they did a lot of the recording. Um, it's, it's, I mean, the thing is because there's, there are, there are a few speaking roles in the game, but really like 95% of it is these two characters. Right. Yeah. And so like, Basically, um, there we were doing recording sessions throughout the entire game, and so if we needed to add some reactions for some minor thing, like just tack that on to like the, the next session. big one that has all yeah, the important yeah. stuff in it, and like no big deal. Cool. Yeah, Sean, Sean did all of the sessions, and yeah, they all just rolled them all in. Yeah. I went out there, but maybe I shouldn't go in that cabin. I don't know. You, you don't. You got to tell me what's going on. I have no opinion. Yeah. <laughs> How long do we have? What's our, yeah, that's, our time? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I, I guess like that's yeah. You, you probably don't want to show too much more of it. I'm no, guessing. we'll 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 um, we'll go through the cave though, because yeah, well, we can close out the day at least. Sure. Yeah. yeah let's let's. I'm just wandering. Around. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's just, see like, the we'll see the day. Uh, yeah, we'll see the day oh, close okay. out, and then and then probably call it. Cool. Um, this area looks nice at this time of day. I've never come over here. Well, it is on ultra. That's true. That's true. <laughs> we are playing on ultra. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, do you have plans for other platforms? Like, it's is it just PS4 and PC right now? PS4, Windows, yeah. Mac, Linux, um, and that is the plans. Yeah, for that's right it. Now. We okay. basically like, yeah, we haven't really thought beyond release at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how's it been overall? I mean, getting the company up and like getting everything up and running and making a game and all this other stuff like coming out of, you know, uh, you, you guys have worked elsewhere and you know, no, not bad really. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's this making this game was tricky in the sense that like I feel like everyone who's trying to make a non-combat like narrative game is doing it in a totally different way. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like. I think it's totally fair to compare this game to Gone Home, but the reality of playing them, I think, is very different. And then that, in turn, is very different than playing something like Dear Esther or Everybody Goes to the Rapture. Right. Or, or like, like Oxenfree. I mean, obviously Oxen that free. game is a... Yeah, sure. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all these games feel very different to play, and I think it's because people are still figuring out how all this stuff works. And so we had to... Like all those other teams, we had to do to solve all those problems still. Well, you mm. could There's report him. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you. Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. 
Look, bumping I like into her. In the of yeah, <laughs> she's good. Yeah, I gotta say, the whole thing's a little more lighthearted than I was expecting. Yeah, we... The grim task of preventing fires <laughs> seems like... It seems like serious fucking business, and honestly, like... Hey, you keep your lights You know, on. I have families that have worked in volunteer firefighting, and like, oh, cool. quite frankly, I'm a little fucking <laughs> disgusted with the way you're presenting this. I mean, it's worth pointing out that being a fire lookout, one, is nothing like this job, but two, you're also not a firefighter. I mean, the, the real fire lookout position your job really is, is to, to say, say, hey, there's a fire. Stay in the yeah. tower, you've got a huge view, and you're just responsible for, if you see a plume of smoke, call it in, and they'll send a helicopter out with water, or mm -hmm. they'll send like a hotshot crew out, or whatever. Um, but in this game, you're a fire lookout who's immediately distracted by teens setting off fireworks, and then your life kind of just goes to shit, and yeah. you never quite get a chance to do your job. Did you ever yeah. think about setting the game in like 2060 or something, and just having the fire <laughs> tower just be a robot that just detects that <laughs> stuff? That's, man, there are, yeah. The, the ending of this game is that it jumps forward to that era and it says, and then your job was never needed again and this was all for nothing. Great. Yeah. We, we set the game in 1989 in part because fire lookouts exist and because there's no cell phones, but also right. actually because um, this game is set in the Shoshone National Forest, which is right next to Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. And in 1988, there was a huge fire in Yellowstone and it was a big deal politically. Uh, and our sort of, e even at that point, people were starting to de-staff Fire lookout right. towers. Yeah. Um, we'd snag that bro. Oh, I'm gonna snag this guy. But in the fiction of this, we sort of said, I guess the summer after that is probably the time that some congressman would grandstand and get fire lookout towers yeah, restaffed absolutely. with a bunch of schlubs from newspaper ads. Yeah. That makes there sense. There we go. Oh, yeah. There's. <laughs> I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Forrest Burns. Uh. An employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink? Yeah, I saw that uh, it seems that the Wyoming Tourism Board has been a, a recent supporter of yours. Yeah, they're apparently... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Little do they know about the ending of Fire. <laughs> Doesn't exactly paint Wyoming in the best light. No, so did you guys visit Wyoming to get a sense of the look? Or is, uh, what is uh, the... Why, why Wyoming? Was it just the setting and the political... It, it, you know, it's, it's actually, Sean and Nels visited it for their childhood. Yeah, two, okay. two of the guys on our team, uh, Sean who wrote the game and Nels who was a oh, designer and programmer. And Sean, I mean, Sean was a designer as well. They both yeah. grew up in Wyoming. They actually grew up on opposite sides of Yellowstone and Shoshone. Yeah. Um, well, it's still better than and there's programs. just a lot of fire lookout towers out there, and it was a, a unique setting. But yeah, also then we got the, the Yellowstone Park thing. I'm just bringing Forrest Burns with me down to the river for no reason, I guess. You can throw him in there. I so guess yeah, I'll... set him adrift. Yeah. I don't think he'll float away. He will set, not float. Right. set him free. Oh, we're going to get some history lesson right now. Yeah. Stay down there. <laughs> Suck it, fire cop. <laughs> Actually, I went looking for the job. I just... Wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in Forest Service budget and can actually afford to have you. I see. Oh, you're talking about that um, giant fire that probably caused some damage. Turned a, an entire jamboree of brownies to dust. Is that brownies historically accurate? Brownies don't have jamborees. No. Okay. Oh, right. well, maybe, I mean, And you who knows? don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? I do not. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the typewriter. I don't care about Yellowstone anymore. <laughs> oh no! I did. Well, I'll tell her about it in a minute. There we go. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. <laughs> the downside of walkie-talkies <laughs> is that you can't both talk at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did, at any point, did you consider it's putting the game. Morse code function of a walkie-talkie into the game the so you can <laughs> beep at people? Right oh man, that would, I, we didn't even think of that. Oh, that would have been amazing, Holy ever. Shit. Um, to let you be like, like bad boop, 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 yeah. things yeah. are <laughs> happening. <laughs> Shit is real. You could have had a trophy in there that was like, if you play the whole game with Morse code. Oh, That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry. Okay, I put in a call. Good. All right. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? Nude. 
teens. <laughs> I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. It's probably the nude uh, teens. Fuck them. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. Now you're talking. There's a solution. Yeah. Someone would do what? This. I worry about bears Patriots. and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, well, in the morning, I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and... Sad, 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 sad. clean up my books here, I guess. <laughs> I gotta get these books up here. Look, lady, I know you're talking, but my books. Thanks. I'm getting a very Fallout bobblehead stand vibe off of this book station. Uh, oh, yeah? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Apropos of nothing, well, that's... Sure don't know. You well... I, I promise. We do have Death Strikes at 2 and 8 rolled the hard way on the bookshelf. Mm. Just saying. Day 2. Cool! That's well, a day. That's a day. Jeff, do you feel like your questions have been answered? Do you know anything? <laughs> okay, so you it's five aside, multiplayer. Mm -hmm. You can pick either the lady or the man with the ring and the radio. Mm -hmm. And one of them does ranged attacks, and the other one's kind of good up close. No, I banned out the guy with the radio. You, okay, Sorry. you banned out the guy with the yeah. radio? Yeah. Okay, well. Just lady on lady. Yeah, you can. Is that are the two nude ladies? Are are the two nude girls? Is that one character or are they two um, individuals? That's, or one, just that's skins? one tag team that's character. Like, that's, you have to unlock them. Okay, it's, yeah. it's like Ice Climber in Smash Brothers. Yeah, Smash. exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I think I get a sense of what Fire Firewatch is a video game, isn't it? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. So I figured, like, as soon as Panic got involved, I just figured this was some kind of it's like an FTP, or something. <laughs> FTP client yeah. or something. Yeah, it's, this is a Windows can PC. You, actually, so. can, you guys, can you guys give me a transmit license while we're at it? Is that yes. Probably. Okay. All right. Great. Awesome. All yeah. right. Well, uh, transmit is out now <laughs> for... Uh, there's an iOS version now. Yeah, there's an iOS version if Let's you want to FTP your, on you your... You can mount your Amazon S3 your buckets phone. on your desktop. Do whatever you yeah. want, really. Yeah, Fire yeah. That's totally... Oh, really? Do yeah. they have that? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, the S, can you use the S3 buckets to put out fires? In day three of Firewatch. <laughs> okay. All right. Look forward to day three. Uh, no, this is when is this actually out? This is out like next February 9th, February 9th Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday for PS4 and Windows, Mac, and Linux. Okay, all right. I I will play Firewatch. Yeah, me too. A <laughs> video game, or so they say. Yeah.